I see I've been muted. That is why. Can you hear me now? Fantastic. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Where are they now? Those who follow us, they know that the show is all about celebrating the lives of legendary artists, South African artists, music business people, local and international, who've contributed to the beautiful mosaic that makes up our South African music history. We get to share their journeys, their amazing experiences. We are the lucky witnesses to these lives so well lived. Tonight's guest is a lady that has been the backbone of one of South Africa's most formidable bands. Not only that, she has sung in so many other bands and so many people that we're going to mention later. And from her youth to here and now, a woman has always had the strength and the commitment to her art, a true survivor of the sometimes incredibly challenging industry please welcome a lovely lovely sister of mine mandisa dlanga hello mandisa can you hear me now i can't hear yes, you can. at all. fantastic yay we've had a few sound <laughs> problems i'm so sorry to say but we do the best we can it is streaming internet after all yeah. Darling, um, you're from Lusiki Siki Mkobetini. Uh -huh. Mkobetini. Yeah. How did I say that? Mkobotini. Well, I must yeah. know. Yeah. You know. Yes. <laughs> tell me tell me a bit about you growing up. I know your parents were musicians. Hey? Well, yeah, they um I was born. In in the fifties, nineteen fifty three, and uh, and uh, there were five of us from my parents, and uh, I was the second one. I, I had an older brother who passed okay. away in nineteen eighty six. I was oh. just so. I'm sorry. And um, well, I was very forward and wanted to do everything, mostly <laughs> sing because I heard my dad sing all the time. More especially okay. when he had something to drink. So <laughs> we would all, like, wake us up at night and make us sing and we would all sing. But I enjoyed that. I couldn't care even if he woke up any, any time. As long as he's going to sing. So we would sing. And even at yeah. school, it was the same thing. You know, when the teachers were asking, if somebody start a song? I was always the first one. I just loved <laughs> singing and dancing. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you you start, know, did you study um, dancing like when you were little? You did ballet and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I wanted people to 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 make me dance when they were all visiting my home. I would be standing at this door waiting for somebody to say, Okay, Mandy, come and sing. Mandy, come and dance with <laughs> I mean, our relatives all knew that that's all I wanted to do. So they would see me trying to one. sneak in or trying to get their attention, you know, in the passage or somewhere and say, Hello, Mandy. Come, 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 come and sing and dance for us. And oh, I wouldn't wait. I would just sing and dance. And that was it. I love and, it. And um, growing up, the same thing at schools and little functions here and there, you know, I would be invited and would do them. And then eventually I decided, my mom decided I should come to Joburg okay. and uh, find something to do. All yeah. right. And so when what I did came you find? In 1976. What did you find to hmm? do when you first when you first came to Joburg? What did you find immediately when you got here? It was about I think on the about the fourth day we arrived, we had to go and visit a relative of the friend I came with to Joburg, and it was somewhere in Orlando. Okay, and uh, we went past the the DOCC, and okay. there was a lot of movement. Yes. Just dancing on the pavements, doing their little thingies, you know, and I, I was curious. I swear I couldn't even get where we were going. I, I was in a hurry to come back and get past this place again. So as we <laughs> went past, I, we asked a few people what was going on here. You know, I was curious. And they said, no, oh, it's a, a Gibson Kente. He's got ah. uh, auditions. And, and, and my friend said, let's go, let's go. And she couldn't sing. 
she couldn't dance. She just wanted me to get this. So we went through. And we were fortunate because we just, as we walked up the stairs, there was Brakib. And there uh, was wow. greeted him and, uh, yeah, what's the problem? No, uh, we would like to join. And he said, okay, come. Come, can you sing? Yes, I can sing. And <laughs> went into a private little room and he said, okay, sing. And I, I just, I did. And she was saying, oh, okay, uh, where do you stay? And we told him and he said, okay, in two days, I'm going to send up because we are busy with the production. It was called, uh, can you take it? Okay. And I swear, I, I, I couldn't even sleep for those two, three days <laughs> waiting. Oh yeah. man, and, that's so exciting. And they came and I was so excited. And, I, oh. and that was it. I did about four productions with that man for about five years. I was at, wow. at his place singing, dancing, teaching Gibson. us, you know. He taught us a lot in acting as well. There was thing you could do there. And then yes. and uh, I think I left uh, five years later, about in, around 1980. But that's quite a, a thing to arrive in a new place and suddenly get into a production with such good people. You were very lucky. It, it was, was amazing. Yeah. It was a yeah, calling. it was amazing. We, I got to, to tour all over South Africa, parts that I didn't know because I only knew from Lusikisiki, Durban, Joburg. Yeah, and that, that was, was it. it. And then I got to see Kimberley, you name it, all over Mafikeng. We were there in the townships of all those places, Lesotho. We went, you know. And it was, it was, it was a, a good, you know, start for everything for me. And yes, I learned yes. a lot from well, him. Yeah. He was a great man. Yeah. I, I, I want to keep, we've got so much to talk about, but boy, we have got so many people online right now wanting to say hello to you, Mandy. Olivia Hudna from France. Olivia. He's saying, hello, Mandy, my regards from France. Lolo Rollins, oh. we are listening, Mandisa. Yeah. Con Concord in Kabindi. Concord is a friend of oh. mine too. Concord, wow, yeah. nice to hear from you. Carlos Amorim, Carlos is in Portugal. He's tuned in, saying oh. hello. Marion oh. from Germany. Hi, hi. Oliver mm -hmm. is still here, Concord. Terry Barker still here. Hello, Terry. Everybody's here. Just so you know, I will stop okay. occasionally and just say, hey, there's people wanted to say hi to Mandisa. So you were not alone hi out here, too. darling. <laughs> yeah. So your lessons with Gideon, mm. just, I mean, Gibson, sorry, and, and just the way yeah, that Gibson, yeah. you get thrown into everything. You didn't have time to think, oh, maybe this is not what I want to do or anything. You knew this was what you wanted to do. Yes, yes. And I wanted to do all of it, I tell you. Yes, yeah. yes. I wanted to and be in did. acting. I wanted to dance. And I did most of whatever he taught us. And uh, Right. So you were already touring. You were already moving around. When, when did you start doing studio work? Well, when I left Gibson Kente, we started a trio with some other two ladies and a band, a huge band. Okay. And we, this band was called Jaws. Jaws? The two ladies, <laughs> yeah, Jaws, yeah, yeah. So we, 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 we recorded an album with them as well. Okay. The whole, we, are, we are a band of about 12 people. <laughs> the band of <laughs> sure. nine. And us three means Stella, Kum, Stima Stella Kumalo Stella. and Tandi Zulu. Okay. And uh, it, was, it was fantastic. We also had a, 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 like a good time there as well. And that's when uh, from time to time we were invited to studios. And that's when I, I met Malcolm McLaren as well, the, the guy from the U.S. Wow. And... Uh, I also did an album with him, with, with different artists that he was using. But I was that was there. very big. Stayed, that yeah. was very big. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah, I remember we, yeah. that. He did an album. And, 
Yeah, we recorded for about three weeks to get the music already, and he uses used a lot of South Africans, big yes. voice, Jack, and you know, yes. Lulu Masilela and uh, Tandi Mashilwane. Well, so there's quite a number of people that she would know. I think we've got a video. Um, Daniela, is there a video of the Malcolm McLaren song where he's using our voices? That's not the one. That was Tandi. That's, um, that's your solo video, hey? Yeah, that's my solo video. So let's see if we can find the Malcolm McLaren. Yeah, here we go. Woo! I remember this so well. <laughs> let's put on my glasses. <laughs> put on the glasses, girl. <laughs> Listen to that bass line, man. He was playing around with all those African sounds. He was. Yeah, big voice jack. Jack for first. Long song. I know we won't play it all, but you sang back up on the song. Yeah, it's such fun, though. Yeah. I remember this. <laughs> There he was, he was a crazy guy. <laughs> There's my voice. There you are. Somebody Ayanda says, oh, my wash your hands, my wash hands. Oh, okay. Ayanda. Saki Maketa. Temba Vilikazi. Yeah, geez, that song can go on and on, but it's absolutely amazing. We've got some more visitors. Yeah. Ayanda has said, did you see some of the names? Mtsoki, yeah, I saw them. Temba, they all here. <laughs> Anthony, yeah. from, he meets us from Mallorca. He always comes on the show. Anthony, nice to see you. And uh, Marian yeah. from Germany said it was a very big song for them in Germany, of course, yeah. as well. Wow. Oh, okay. You know. Mm -hmm. It's a funny thing. All, all these things that you've done is like, it, it, it requires tenacity. You have to have an or enormous sense of self because you knew who you were from the beginning and you knew this was the journey I was going to be on. Yes, true. That's so true. Oh, so true. And yeah. uh, so after the time, I, I, uh, I, I, I did this album with Malcolm. Mm -hmm. We we 
we had to find management, me and Stella, and we were introduced okay. to Linda Bernard. Ah, Linda. And uh, yeah. Wish. So <laughs> when we were under her, she introduced us to, to studio work sessions. Yes, yes, the session work. So, and yeah. they began, and sessions were like the most, most important thing that ever happened to us because yes. it put food on the table yes. 24-7. You know, we were working yeah. almost every day and night Absolutely sometimes. amazing, yeah. And uh, we were days. recording with all, all South African artists that were like, no, no, not all of them were big, but we worked with almost everybody. Yes. I, I imagine somebody said um, we, we were on more than 100 albums. I'm sure. Yeah, and uh, it was people like uh, Super Tops. Africa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Super Africa, Pet Shange, CJB. Um, hey, Yvonne, Yvonne, uh, anybody you could think of, Stimela, you know, every Stimela, and Chico. you know, and then there was Chico, yeah, Chico for me a lot. Mm. And uh, lucky. Then, then we went to Lucky, Lucky, I only worked with Lucky just towards the end on the on his okay. on his four last albums that he did. Okay. I only worked on the four last albums that she did before that. And I, I remember it. working with you in the studio. We were doing backup. I don't remember. Maybe it was for Yvonne. Um, I used, It was me it and was Wendy Oldfield. It was Yvonne. And it was you yeah, and we were Star doing, we were doing. and Stella. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was that song that's good. That's saying, who's got the power to live my life? That was the album we were doing. That was the song we were actually singing with you guys. Yeah, I remember that too very well. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, so all of that and a song. whole lot of musicians. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it went on to uh, going to record in a what what, what did they call it? Mobile studio, which was taken Bob. to Botswana, where we Bob, recorded. Bob Studios. Bob Studios. Yeah. yeah. No, not that one. Um, not Bob from Johannesburg. Yeah, it, it was what? It was. I forgot the name of the studio here in Johannesburg. It was a mobile studio. They took the 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 whole thing was set up in a little truck, and it was taken to Botswana because we yes. had to record with 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 Kaifas and Letta. And after that, it was uh, with uh, Rahuma Sigela. So I've worked with those guys too, and I've worked a lot with um, uh, the late Jonas Gwangwa on all the albums that he did in South Africa. And, uh, and of course, Mbongen Ngema from yes. way back. Mbongen was with us at Gibson Kente. Okay. And then he broke away to do Oza Albert and all the other stuff. And then he started his own productions a lot. And I've also worked with him on almost all his albums. We just finished one last year that he was doing and uh, it, it was released during the COVID of last year. Wow. So it's a whole lot of people. There's Impiwe Danas, uh, young girls I've, I've done. About two albums with her as well. Yes. Yeah. So it's quite. Um, you are. You're people. the voice. You know, Madisa. It's like when somebody needs that sound, that voice. It can only be one person. It can only be you. Thank you, girl. Okay. But it's the truth. Um, yeah, it's true. So, 1987, something uh -huh. ha ha happened. Yeah. So yeah, nineteen eighty six actually. Johnny okay. booked us for a session mm. to do the song Third World Child. Uh, when uh, Chuluga 
Why? Was was was? And so, what am I gonna say? It was the end of Chiluga. Yes, so he was yes. doing a solo album, and she did uh, that. Uh, he was in the studio and wanted uh, women's voices on third with child, yes. and uh, he booked us to um, Linda. We went, me and Stella again, and we yeah. actually did a video with him for that song, and he decided to work with us on the whole album on three or four other songs. And after that, he was starting Savuka. Yes. And he was going to have some concerts at the, at the market warehouse at the okay. place, which is right opposite what's called the warehouse for market theater. Yes. And they yes. started working with me there. And we also did a few uh, other venues like Peter Marisburg, Durban, East London, Port Elizabeth, and Cape Town. And, and then, then that was we, it. We had a, that was it. Because yeah. when they were going to Angoulême, they invited me to go with them. That's right, yeah. Angoulême. Um, and that was the beginning of bigger, 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 bigger work for us. So... Let's just check in here quickly. Um, we've got Derek De Beer, your friend. Borky. <laughs> He's here. Yeah. Yeah, Bo Mandy, what a pleasure to hear your voice and see you again from Bratops. <laughs> Bratops. Oh, Bratops. <laughs> and China, <laughs> Pololo. Oh, that's my younger brother. China. My big, he said, yeah, hi, China, China, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, we need a book. That's right. He's a promoter, she so. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're loving everything. Thank you. Sorry. To Nokwe as well. To Nokwe is here. Oh. Temba Velikazi. Yes. Loving the sharp memory. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, because it's hard to remember all these things when we, we're taking it from this thing to that thing to that thing. Um, so your journey... And I've worked with her. Yes. Yeah, my journey is long. Even too, I've worked with her from all, all her albums and a lot of other projects she's doing. And she happens to be my cousin. So I see them <laughs> all the time. That's so cool. <laughs> But there's yeah. a lot of connection here. I'm seeing there. There's a lot of connections here. There's a lot mm -hmm. of people that have been around since we all started way back in the day, you know. So, yeah. Mm, Salah, sounding good, ladies. Thank you for taking us back. We are, for us, this is what the show is. The show is about going back and talking to the people that nobody talks to anymore, you know. That they think, oh, it's over, it's this, it's That's that. In the meantime, is. they don't understand. This was the history of our country. We have to, we have to speak about it, you know. We have to. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Ma, Sisi, mm -hmm. tell me, tell me, let's, let, let's talk a bit. Of course, we have to talk about your journey with Johnny. You were Johnny's sidekick. You were always there next to him whenever there was a a picture of you guys on stage it was you you were johnny and 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 you were always dancing and you were ready you were ready for that role what you had there hey yeah i was yeah, yeah. i was very much i was you know look at we these beautiful both, yeah, photos yeah yeah when was this do you think that was in America, um, 2013, wow. I think. I'm not too sure, but it's somewhere there, yeah. Oh, wow. What other photos? We've got a whole bunch of photos. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Savuka That's in 1988. Yeah, there's Derek. 1988. Mm -hmm. Was Keith with you, Keith? Keith yes, Hutchinson. Keith Hutchinson. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And Steve and Solly. Mm -hmm. And that beautiful photo. I can't. 
can't remember what this was. Don't worry, it's beautiful anyway. You were both. Oh, it's, this was the last journey. This was okay. the journey, the, yeah, the one that she did when uh, it was actually his last film. Really? Yeah, in 2017. Yeah. Okay. And that too. Also, the last shows. That must have been very, very, a, a very emotional journey from at the end of, of that because everybody knew it was coming to an end, but they didn't know when. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Faith. Something Look at you. <laughs> yeah, it was 2018. I think we were doing back up for Salif Keita at yeah, the Africa Day. Something, something. Africa Day. Yeah, something hill. Yeah, on, on the other side of, of, of Hillbrook. What's that place? Constitution called? Hill. Constitutional, yeah, yeah, that was the key. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at you. you. Look beautiful. Beautiful memories, eh? Let's let's see a let's see a video with you and Johnny. It's just for all of us to see. We'd be beautiful. So Dee's got all the videos lined up. I think the Johnny Clegg video. Um, Asim Bonyanga would be lovely. She's got that. She has got it all lined up there. Hey, Danny, the producer of the show. Thank you. In France. Being waged. And we were part of that. And this is a song that we wrote for a truly one of the greatest South Africans um, in history. Nelson Mandela, and we'd like to open the show tonight with a tribute to him. Broken sand 
Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. dancing that makes me at peace with the world. <laughs> and, and at peace with myself. But I don't see much movement at the back there, you know. <clears throat> I would like us to join. Let's just repeat. Let's just repeat it. Okay. Let's just repeat it. <laughs> That must have been a special moment for you. Hey? Yeah. You know, um, when the song starts, I always go off stage. Yes. And I only come in on the last chorus. Okay. Where I came in with you. So as I was walking backstage, it was outside, the outside of that place really outside, not like in, in the back room or in the dressing rooms or something. So he, I see this cut coming through with about four people and four other men running behind it. And I'm asking, <laughs> I wonder what's going on here. And then I see uh, our manager of France, uh, Claude Six. And he said, I oh, know, okay, here's Mandy, here's Mandy. And he quickly cooks up something. He said, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I'm saying, what? He said, yeah, hey, we've got one. Like, yeah. And Johnny doesn't know. And I'm like, <laughs> is this a surprise for him? And I wow. said, well, maybe I can, I can walk I can walk in with him because I'm, yeah. I'm just about to go on now after this, this, this little break. And then and then he was ready for that. He said, hey, hello, hello. Hello, little mom. How are you? Let's go. And I'm <laughs> like was shaking and I was sweating a little bit. What's going on here? <laughs> Who is this? How can Mandela be here? You know? Wow. Wow. <laughs> and That's incredible. And then, 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 okay. So let's dance. Let's dance. So he was telling me, let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's do a little bit of movement. Let's do it. <laughs> as you see us moving in. <laughs> like, oh, my word. Well, you know, I was so overwhelmed. I, I don't know if... You know, I was worried about my pitch, thinking maybe I'm going to break down or something. But I didn't. And it was exciting. No, it was happy. It was beautiful. You know, just holding his hand, just going down there. Yeah, just, just something else. And Shane, Johnny was shocked. Actually, the whole band was like, hmm? Totally blown away. What happened? Where did you <laughs> find him? <laughs> Where did you find him? Oh, yeah. I just pulled him out from somewhere. <laughs> Was that in France? Uh, uh, Somebody says they think it was in Germany. Yeah. Was it? Yes, it, 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 it was, was in Germany. It was, yeah, it was in it was in Germany. Some kind of border, like little town okay. between Germany and France, somewhere there. Yeah, where there's uh, also Disneyland and something like that. Okay, area, okay, yeah. the French. 
friends. So, thing. yeah, it was, wow. it was cool. It was very nice. That was cool. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was an experience. Uh, Sam and Lovu, yeah. beautiful memories. Thank you, Sam. He's saying Oh, hello. oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the guy we have as the lead singer with Stimela now. Ah. Like after the passing of Coyote and Ray, they really? wrote him. He's a young man and he's got good experience and he's a very good singer too. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is so this yeah. is you've had such an incredible journey, Ma. You know, just like Yeah. You have had such an incredible journey. Okay, so with that big, big thing, uh, you know. I mean, what do you do with that when that comes to an end with such a big yeah, like story? It, it feels like that actually now that um, uh, people I worked a lot with uh, performing, um, just to go back a little bit to a yes. Yvonne. And, yes. and then she started doing a lot of work for, for, for malaria and all those kind of things. And performance was uh, going down little by little. So I was yes. always alternating between uh, Yvonne, Stimela and Johnny most okay. of the time. And, yep. and sometimes Mungin um, Gema as well. So yes. uh, and do no way, yeah. So it, yeah. between those five people, every time I wasn't working with the other, I could work with the other. But that has subsided a lot now in, in all angles of music yes. for me. Yes. Uh, and with uh, everybody, um, with everybody, and it I feel it more uh, with Ray, uh, Roy, Ray Peary and and Johnny, because now it looks like I'm not doing anything with anybody anymore. Uh, it's been about four years that um, I hardly get any work, uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes something comes up and, and, and that I'm able to do that. But other than that, it's like, where do I go from here? You yes. know? Yes, I understand But that. Um, this year I've met some people. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. But um, but you did mention to me that there's something looking like this. There's, there's some uh, interest uh, in something. Yes, it's vague, it's a, it's a, but it's, it's there's something maybe yeah. with somebody, maybe with something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then now it it has fallen through. That's ah. the good news. Yeah, oh, is um, is that good news? A record company, record company from London, yes. is called Sound Digital. Okay. So they've signed me on. So in a couple of weeks, I'm starting Bravo. to record. You see, <laughs> yeah. this is what I'm talking about. You know, no matter whether we think we're done, we're not done. But especially now, yeah. look, every, everybody out there knows we've all been hit hard. Um, not only mm -hmm. lost a lot of people, lost oh, a yeah. lot of people that we care about. Musicians, mm. <clears throat> people that we know in this business, <clears throat> excuse me, but this whole thing has changed the, the landscape of the music business. Mm. Yes, so yes, yeah. also, the business has gone you know, the, the business, it's not like we were working all the time and now we're not working all the time. So when you say, hey, yeah. nobody's asking me to work, there's no work. So why would they ask there's anybody no to work? work? Yeah. If there's something, they grab it for themselves, say, oh, I just need to try and make this work so I can pay my bills quickly, you know. Yeah. So, and one and other what's, thing what's is, more than that? We, yeah. Mm, no, that's We what can it still do doing. it. That's the thing. That's yeah. the thing mm. is that we are standing here at our age, at our stage of life. Mm -hmm. And we know mm -hmm. we can still sing and deliver it and yeah, give it to me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We can do what we got to do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know, if I've got to do it, I'll bring it. I'll bring yeah. it. I'll do exactly. whatever I got to do. Exactly. So you're not, you're not off the table. The table is still yeah. there, and you're not off the table. You know, I, I see it with everybody. Yeah. We are all finding different ways to make things work. For me, doing a show online yes, yes. I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah. trying it's to amazing. keep going to keep 
bringing people back and 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 asking them questions and finding out about their lives because it's important it's very important cindy it's and important. you know this is such a good idea because there there are lots of people who've got so um such amazing stories about their lives in this industry that we don't know and you know and it, it worries me because uh, the younger people don't actually even know some of us, you know. And uh, that is the thing. I, I and just wish they I'm... could be interested in. Mm, they could be interested in getting into all of these kind of shows so that they discover, you know, the people that actually made them. Started. Because even if they don't know yes. us, we made them. You, you know? made it. And 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 then get into this thing and and carry it over. Because apparently our time is up to some of them, you know. These old Not makogos must go now, you know. Yeah. Huh. No, some of them are saying these old makogos must go now. Is our I time, understand you know? because they say it's their time. <laughs> but they forget that they had mm -hmm. to start somewhere. They heard music from mm -hmm. somewhere before, mm -hmm. way before. So the history yeah. of music is more important than what's happening here today. Because the history yeah, brought and us you, to you, today. And you, one other thing that you did is bring, bring out people like us that are just merely known as the backing singers, you know. And uh, some people don't even know that we've got our own albums as well because sure. nobody really cares or listens or whatever. But, uh, you know, but I also respect one lady again. That's Yvonne. No, yes. Yvonne. She put together that that unsung heroes thing. Yes, I was there last, the, 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 yeah, last year. Backing vocalists, yes. yeah, backing vocalists up session, front and, and session even musicians. Session, music, session yes, musicians. Yes, nobody ever speaks know. to us. Nobody ever you acknowledges know, and, us. Yeah. You know, she acknowledged us, and you know we were awarded, and it was it mm. felt so proper to be standing mm. there with my. Mm. Life Achievement Award, and it was yes. like, wow, can this really be me? You, uh, sure. you know, somebody has done something right for a change. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That was the attitude I was having about the whole thing, and I'm, 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 I'm very proud of her as well. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to ask people. you this question: Is do you think, and I'm asking myself even, do you think mm. that enough? emphasis has been put on the legend icon artists of our time I, I don't believe that the department of arts and culture or anybody has ever given us any kind of well they haven't platform. even they haven't even started they haven't even started my dear thank you they, so oh, oh. where did yeah, that and money i don't go? think I don't even think they even recognize us or even think about us because when Yvonne even did those awards the first time around, it was 2015, if I'm not mistaken, yes. she didn't even get funding from them. I remember that. She played for They didn't himself. understand what the fuss was all about. Backing singers, what session musicians. What? what are you talking about, you know? And The, uh, the foundation of a song, the foundation the, of our the, music. For me, Well, they don't recognize that they're not musicians, remember? So they couldn't care, you know? They totally do not recognize us because they don't know what music is or what it means to some of us. So really, for me, they haven't well, started, my dear. Well, then Maybe somebody's going to... Yeah, it's maybe they, maybe we need a change there, you know. Yeah, they I, need to change think... because honestly, it's so unfair. We travel the world and we see people being acknowledged in the same industry as we're in. And you kind of Overseas. ask yourself, why doesn't this happen in our own country? Because doesn't. it's not like it's people that don't understand music. People, South Africans love music. They it's know huge. it and they understand it. Music it's huge. is a it's big huge here, but... thing. It's huge here. But it is not given the, the respect. The platform it deserves or something. Yeah. The respect yeah. that yeah. it deserves. I I do yeah. say because yeah. um, we all need to we need to take a look at that because 
um, this show, I'm working, you know, I'm trying to find all the people from the old days and I'm, I'm going to pick your brain afterwards. I'm going to ask you for some names, people I want to talk to. I want to, I want to interview Abigail. I want to speak to Kaifas, you know, I want to speak to the people that have been around. Um, I did a session mm. recently with Moses from Soul Brothers. I was like, Moses, look at you. You know, you've had such a life. You've oh, had Moses and Gwenya. Yeah. You've had a beautiful life. And nobody knows about you. In the meantime, he's a, mm. he's a hero. You know? So uh, when is. we talk about this he industry. Is. And also, I have to say another thing. And I'm not just screaming for women. But women in this industry. We have not gotten the the respect or the the accolades. They talk about the guys all the time and everything, but the women, as the girls that used to sing on on every Isn't song, their recognition, yes, just something, mm. just to say, hey, you know, yeah. when you look at it, there are no women who own record companies. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, but um. I don't know. I really don't know, Cindy. I, I just, I just hope somebody, some way, could raise this, and somebody would listen, because yes. I don't think those guys out there now at the arts are and listening. thing are listening to us They're not listening. at all. So, and it's yeah. okay. You know what? We have listening. done it without them all these years. We've That's kept true. going. It's Without them, true. all these yeah. years, we've stayed yeah. in our art yeah. and in our industry for all these years. Without, without any them. other kind of job, just singing and dancing, and That's that was it. it. We can and do we it. we made it. We've got children. We've, yes. They've been, they educated. They've got everything. they adults now. They recognize the work that we did, you know, making ends meet as they grew up. And they, sure. you know, so it's, it's, it's sure. okay. Mm. It is okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. Despite yeah. not being seen or not being heard in that way. Yeah. We've still continued and have been, we have managed to continue from here as well. So we teach yeah. or, we, or we, we, we do a show like this where we're telling people what's going on. Yeah. Hello, this is what's happening. Yeah. We're here just to carry it on. And if, just some, of, it if on. some of the younger ones are fighting, uh, you join the fight as well, you know. If some of yes. the young ones start fighting and trying to make things right, we join in the fight because we are all there, you know. It, it's, it's our life. You know, Absolutely, it's really, our life, and we have always fought for our lives. And we were, the, we were in the, yeah. we were in the townships. We were shouting, we were screaming for it. Yeah, <laughs> we were, we were shouting for it. Yeah. You know how many times I was yeah. like screaming and running around, Amanda, Amanda, <laughs> and getting into trouble with the police, <laughs> and the police taking me to the side, saying, <laughs> "You can't do this." What are you doing, you white lady? What are you doing there? I said, shut up. I'm an African. I'm an African. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. uh, you saw Boki was online. Derek, he spoke very highly of you, of course. Yeah. The touring and all that stuff. You know, when you think about it, as a young girl from the Eastern Cape, was this your dream? No, what I didn't your know dream? it would go as far as this. No, I really, I really had fantasies and dreams, but they were just dreams, and I, I, I never imagined it would get to this for me to actually know and see the whole world and like, wow, wow, is wow. this really me? And, and but then all of that, the truth dawned on me when I was already on the thingies, when, and, and when I was like kind of a little bit older as well, because I, I, I realized, hey man, this is happening to me. And um, I was about 38, 39 when I thought, wow, damn, this is me. How, yeah. many, how many people get this chance, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, before that, it was just, you know, just to see yourself fly all over the place and it's the end of, and you raise, I'm, I've shouted, 
I was dreaming and <laughs> I really wasn't thinking that much about it seriously. I was No, well, I think so. I think you get to the point where you just are doing it. Hey, this is what I do. I travel the world. I uh I sing for my life, for my love. I sing for you know, what makes it, it makes it good for us. And um I think we've all got a place in this world. Yes, and man, we've paid you, our you've got a Paid our dues, paid our yeah. dues, darling. So, as I said uh, uh, earlier, that when a band like 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 Savuka was a big band and it was a big part of your life, so when that mm. ends, there's a lot of loss and grief, I'm sure. Of you course, felt, yes. Of course, to, of course. To if, process it, that, you know, besides being on stage and singing and. Uh, uh, the money, the the work and stuff like that. You know, you just count the years you've spent with those people. We all grew up together. You know what That's I'm saying? The relationship. We all started here. Yeah. Yeah, we started this as young women and men, mm. and we we grew up. And at, at some point, <laughs> I remember one time we were in the bus with Johnny in the in, in the in the US. We were sleeping in the bus, we're traveling about 18 <laughs> hours from one city to the other. And so the bus came and it stopped somewhere. I think Andy would remember that. <laughs> and they went out for stuff, breakfast or whatever, and I didn't go out. And Johnny's bunk was way ahead of mine on the, on the other side. And uh, he heard me, I was coughing and he was saying, how? And I realized, oh, Johnny was in the bus. And I said, yeah, I'm four. And he said, how? What are you doing here? And I said, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed and I laughed too. And then we rolled out of bed and we were sitting in front in the from the passage, you know, the banks on the left and right. And then there's a big passage. And we we're sitting yes. there laughing at each other. And he said, I'm four. I also wanted to go and have tea and breakfast or whatever, but I'm four. About pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and him were always complaining about my back. Oh, my, my legs. So my legs oh, are my so. <laughs> <laughs> I know we that. The, <laughs> and we were born in the same year, so we're, the, we're both the older ones than anybody in the bus. So, um, and we just turned 60, I remember, because that was oh. the tour we did in uh, 2013. Wow. So, and you're saying, for, I wanted to go out, but I can't move. And I said, <laughs> same year. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds you how human you are. One minute you're on stage and everybody loves you and they're shouting for you and you're a big, beautiful, shining star. And then you walk into your dressing room. I oh, my back. I oh, my legs. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Lord. You know, and then sometimes after the show, we have to go and sign autographs and everything and I hide it. And Johnny is screaming, I want a Mandisa. Come on, let's go and mingle. And I said, I'm not mingling today. I'm tired. <laughs> After the show. <laughs> you could choose when you wanted to mingle or not. You see, there was an advantage being a backup singer. You, you, you yeah. didn't have to be in the front all the time. You know, you could say, I'm sneaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and now also, you know what he would do? He would come from the front of the house, sign on and said, hey, People are saying they want Mandisa. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> of so course. You can't stay here. Let's go. Let's go. You know, and he changes up. You know, it gives me an attitude of some kind. And, and when I get there, people are like, yeah, yes, Mandy. And I'm like, and you see, you see, you see, I told you, you they want you. They wanted to see. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> All these funny little yeah. stories and these things, like beautiful experiences. I just want to see who's on still. She's the real artist and a great teacher. That's what they're saying about you. Uh, yeah. That's now what you they're saying the about off. you. And mm -hmm. God bless you, Mandy, Olivia, and Ayanda. Yes, she's talking about women who who own record companies. They, 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 they sabotage them. They don't want them mm -hmm. to have it. So... We understand. So, yeah. 
we make our own way because I'm not yeah. going to let somebody tell me how I must live my life. Never. Um, it's not going to happen. You know, we're just going to keep living your life. Now, you've got, I want to play, it's a solo song of yours. Yeah. It's you and Andy. It's it's beautiful. This is Thank Mandisa you. singing. Hello, Sherry. Hello, darling. She's always here. She's my a PR lady, and she helps me with a whole lot of things. She always comes to see how we're doing. Um, thanks for coming. Um, Daniela, can you play Mandisa's song, Her and Andy Innes? It's just great. A mute, you can mute yourself, sweetheart. I like that. Concord said, this is beautiful, Mandisa. Oliver also, beautiful song, Mandy. Love it. Thank you. That's an album I did about 10 years ago. It was called The Dawn. The? The Dawn. Wow, The Dawn. Yeah. That's so beautiful that's stuff. Bad. So yeah. tell us about what are you doing now? What, what's up now? This this new thing that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, now um, we're going to do a pre-recording with Andy yes. and some other producers, and I'm getting songs from different artists who are close yes. to me. People like you. <laughs> 
Well, I hope you like the song and I hope it gets used. But hey, just the fact that yeah. you listen to it, thank you very no, much. No, 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 I like it and I'm, uh, I'm working on it. That's and, awesome. Um, so we, I think in about three weeks, we'll be cooking. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. It's so nice to do something fresh. It's so exciting. Don't you love it? When you're getting into the studio for the first time to record new songs. Yeah. And, <sighs> um, I'm excited to this and everything. Worried about this pandemic. This continuing now, but um, you know what? Yes. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's, getting there. it's a funny thing. I've always found that the more I work the song, the more I find what I want to use in it. Yeah. So use this time. Just take patience and just keep doing the songs and singing and listening and singing. I find, you know, I'll, I'll write the song and then I, I, I listen to it again and then I play it again and I've changed the line and I've changed this. So eventually you get to the point where you've worked the song. You're happy with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So take your time. I'm sure they're not beating you and saying you've got to do this now you know it's just yeah so take your time and just enjoy the process Thank you. i think it's so exciting i love it makes me happy also what is the the vocal queens what is that that was um stella faith and mandisa okay yeah, we the girls. Yeah, we had we had, we had uh, some performances around South Africa, even in Durban, where okay. we performed as the vocal queens. Yeah, uh, okay. there was another lady. Her name was Valerie. Yeah, who who suggested this? She was calling us uh, sisters South Africa. Huh, nice. So, uh, yeah, and then you know because of the, the you know going different ways from time to time. We didn't do anything for about nine or 10 years. And then when we decided to bring it back again, uh, somebody said we have to call it South African Voices or something, and it ended up being the vocal queens. We okay. didn't do that much yes. about it. I mean, I mean, we were planning to even have a recording or something, but you know, things never really go the way you want. <laughs> We had certain delays here and there, and of course, nobody was okay in it. So it, uh, it just drifted apart a little bit. But you know, every time somebody says, Hey, we want the vocal queens, uh, we hop on yes. and we do what we you can do. Yeah. I think that that's what we can do right now. We can do a whole bunch of different things. You know, I'm doing this. Uh, I've got a, so, a, a, a solo album out. I'm writing. I'm this, I'm that. I think it's gone are the days when you just do one thing. I think nowadays we all doing lots of different things just to keep everything going and also to do different things. I think it's great. It keeps my interest. You know? Yeah. It's great. I think so. So if I say to you, what are you looking forward to now? What is your... How are you feeling right now and what are you looking forward to? I, I'm looking forward to this recording. Mm. I've got a feeling that, um, you know, I, I was almost at the point of giving it up. Know, yeah, giving up, giving up, giving up. Hallelujah, sister. Have we been there or have we been there? So uh, I, was, I was really there. I was just waiting for mm. the moment where I would pack my bags and go back to the city. And I was looking really? forward to that. But then I also have the children. Uh, my, yes. my, my daughter was saying to me, are you sure about this? You know, <laughs> when you just leave everything and without any money in your pocket, when you get to the Siki Siki, you won't last even six months. You're going to die, you know? Depression and everything is just going to come. Funny. Because remember, you've been the breadwinner for all these years. Sure. Now, all of a sudden, you come back with nothing. What, what's that going to do to you, you know? And uh, I realized it was true. And some of my friends were saying the same thing. Just hang in there. Something just might come in. And I've got other friends from America who talk to me. We talk to each other like, 
almost two or three times a month. They're also part of my life, my family, they're my friends, you know? Yes. And then they were also saying, okay, why don't you just wait another, maybe another year, you know? Because yeah. I, I, I had this uh, uh, in, in 2019 when I said, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm going home. And they also said, just wait a moment, Mandisa. You know, things come and go. You know, there's a, you know, walk, there's a, you know, this, that, and then you get out of a, you know, something like walking around in a tunnel and then there's a light on the on the other side of the whatever. You know, all those kind yeah. of things people try to think. I know those stuff. things they say. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then the, same, the same year I thought I was leaving, two had a project which we worked on for four weeks, you know, and that, that gave me a little boost as well. I thought, of course. Oh, maybe I shouldn't go, you know. And uh, here I am. I'm still here. It's 2021 now. And out of <laughs> nowhere, I met this boy. He was doing a project with Sipum, the ex Juluga uh, yes. guy from, um, yes. from, what's that area? I forgot where he comes from, Transcorp or something. And he's like, okay, this are but recording. And I said, and he's young, and then I'm like, mm. who are you? First place. Now I'm going to record, uh, and, and and then the, the next one is going to be you. And I'm, I said, oh come on, and he said, no, I'm serious. I'm not joking. I didn't call you for a meeting to to, to joke, you know. And are you are you serious? Said, yes. yes. And and I was like, wow. So I still have it. So let me do this, you know. Damn and right. So now I'm Damn ready right. To do it. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, starting this whole project and working on it and putting songs together, working with great yes. people. You know, Fana Zulu also sent me a song, you know. Concord sent me a song. Moses sure. Nguenya sent me a song. So I'm going to check them all out and work on them and we'll see how everything goes. And boom, let's do you this. You know, there's nothing better than working on mm. something that gives you, it keeps us alive. Yeah. Yeah. You I know, forget about it, getting old and going to Lusikisiki. Thank now, you. I'm, che I'm checking out little moves, and, but then I get tired easily all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on, yeah. <laughs> no. If there's a purpose to a day, if there's just oh, one yeah. purpose to your day, then you're yeah. up and you're ready and I'm awake and, okay, what time do you want me in the studio? I'm ready to work. You know? <laughs> it's like, usually I'll sleep till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. If they want me in studio, but I want you in the studio at 9 o'clock. I'm there at 9 o'clock. <laughs> My eyes are small like this, but I'm there. <laughs> that's what we do. It's what we do. I just, it's so good to hear that you're doing something uh, for yourself now in this stage of our lives where we do what we like doing. It's not like, oh, somebody's telling me what to do here. I'm doing something I like. I'm doing something that I'm yeah. committed to, you know. Um, this has been... My family, they are so excited. My family is so excited to say... I'm sure. You know, you know, we need you to be at the front there now. You, you, you've stayed back there for too long. And uh, I don't regret that, you know. No, it's no. Yeah. I don't regret that, you know. It was my. It journey. was where you were meant to hear. Um, that's it. People, yeah, yeah. A lot of people would come to me and say, "But aren't you tired of backing up other people?" And so I said, "I don't know why I'm backing up in the first place because I thought I would be, you know." But then things just fall apart, and you know, if this works, then all the better for me because at least I'm with the, the stage. Is my family? The stage is what I will, yes. is where I want to be. So still happening good for me. Yeah. And, and you know um, what? It's not about being in the background. It, it, it Just because yeah. you were backing up, you weren't in the background, Mandy. You know, it was always yeah, Mandisa's, mm, she's there, you know. And even if you were, you didn't feel like you were. You never felt like, oh, I'm just 
like in the back here, no, nobody cares about me. You were always, you took part. You took part. I, I, you did. I did what I would do when you I'm You showed in. up. That's what you did. And that's what we love. We love people who show up. No matter what your role is, I swear I could go and join a band now and just sing back up. I would be as happy as anything. I would show up, I would sing good, and I would be happy with that. And you end up stealing the show, hey? <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I know, that's the thing. I mean, people think the idea is to steal the show and make other people unhappy. You don't no. know you are stealing the show. No, you, you don't. You don't. Like, wow, you, 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 you make it. When are you just doing what you feel good about and you're happy when you're doing it? It yeah. shines oh. from you. It, it comes yeah. out of you in the most beautiful way. Um, and I think that that is what music does. Hey, Mandy. That what music does, it touches people in a different way, takes you to a different place draws you in that people will be staring at you on stage because they are so into what you are doing. Yeah, that's why I tell even kids that I work with sometimes, yes. we are all doing that, you know, the, we all on stage on a purpose. So yes. you, you have to We've all, all got a role to play. Yeah, Everybody's got a role. People, yeah. People out there are here for entertainment, here for healing. We heal them with the music and all the other little things that we do. They leave this place happy because we have made them happy. So if and that is what it's about. Yeah, if it doesn't come joy, to, you know, you give it. You give it joy. You you, you it, it joy. comes up as joy to them, and you give that. And you're sharing. Them. When you share something, if you get up on stage and you're in your own world, and I'm just playing for myself. Nobody's going to feel it. They're going to, they no, don't get touched by it. But if you're there to share your, your music and share your love of music, people get touched by it. They get drawn into it. And it makes sense. Once it makes know, sense. Once you do it from within, it makes sense to other people. But then, I, you know. Well, darling, there's so many things still to do and to, to, to get on with in your life. I think this is the beginning of something fresh and new for you, which is fantastic. I'm so happy I got hold of you. It was because of Bookie. I, um, I said to him, please give me Mandisa's number. I haven't seen her or spoken to her for so long, and I want her on the show. I think she'd be spectacular. And seeing all these beautiful comments... It was a beautiful show, my darling. And thank you for coming and being with me. What a pleasure. Everybody sending beautiful messages here on the screen. Thank you, everybody, for coming on and saying hello to us. We are so happy to see you there. For me, it's lovely to meet you, those that I don't know. And those that I do, thank you for coming back. Those that it came especially for my Mandy, a true sister of music, a true Thank you, believer. <laughs> Thank you. We're so gonna much. say our goodbyes now. Yeah. I know it's yeah. like just go over. We always go over our time, but we don't care. Um, I'll send you lots of love, and and we will carry on talking because maybe I can come and sing some backup on your sing on your record, please. Wonderful. I would be <laughs> so happy. Woo! I could do it again. Woo! Ah. Love it. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Stay strank. Thank you so Stay much. strong. Thank My you. greatest so pleasure. Thank you to Discover TV for giving me this platform that I can use. I want to see more of you in the studio with us. We're going to be talking to all of you because we need to talk about music, how it started, where it started in South Africa and Africa. It is very important. Thank you, everybody, for being with us again tonight. Daniela, thank you for running the show. We appreciate you. And we will talk again, my sweetheart. Mwah. Love and peace to everybody. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. We got...